Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the introduction to programming language. I am Nordila Nordin and I will be explaining to you on the basics of computers and programming language. The first topic to be covered in this programming language subject is the computer organization. It is expected that after studying this topic, you should be able to firstly explain the computer organization and secondly, explain the hardware and software components of a computer. This topic covers four parts. The first part is on input. Second part is on output. Third part is on data and information. And lastly, fourth part is computer system. To start off, what exactly is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that stores and processes data. It is used for a variety of purposes, ranging from browsing the web, writing documents, editing images and videos, creating applications, playing video games and other activities. A desktop computer is a computer that consists of a monitor, computer tower and a keyboard. It can include other devices as well, such as mouse and speaker. A computer has the ability to accept data, which is referred to as input, process the data, and produce the output as information. An example of a computer device is a calculator. A calculator can solve multiple types of mathematical operations where the device will process the information on numbers that have been pressed and displays the result accordingly. A computer can have input devices. An input is the data that a computer received through an input device to allow the user to interact with the computer. Several of the common devices that are used to provide input to a computer are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam, and scanner. An output, on the other hand, is information processed by and sent by a computer. An output device is used to send data out of the system reproduces or displays the result of the processing. There are four basic types of output on a computer, which are text, audio, graphics, and video. This can be in the form of text and graphics viewed on the monitor screen and projector, audio as music through headphones and speakers, sound and videos from any voice or video conferencing software displays on the screen, and the use of printer to physically produce the output as a hard copy. Previously, we mentioned the term data and information. Data and information have different meanings. Data is raw and unorganized materials that is required to be processed to make it meaningful. Information, on the other hand, is a group of data that collectively carries a logical meaning and it places data into context. Information depends on data, where the data needs to be processed, organized, structured, or presented in a given context to make it useful. Information maps out the data to provide a big picture view on the data. An example of an information is a set of data of the temperature readings in several locations in Kedah over several years. Without any additional context, the temperatures have no meaning. However, when it is analyzed, organized, and interpreted, the temperature patterns and trends can be determined, which the data is now providing information that is beneficial. As we had known, a computer is an electronic device that stores and processes data. A computer system is different than a computer, where a computer system consists of hardware and software components that run in the computer. It combines a computer with a set of integrated devices that input, output, process, and store data and information that is used to perform a complex set of functions. Hardware refers to the physical, tangible parts of a computer that a computer system requires to function. It comprises of a motherboard, central processing unit CPU, main memory, which is the random access memory, RAM, secondary storage, and input or output devices, such as the keyboard, monitor, and disk. 
Software, on the other hand, is the intangible part of the computer. Software can be categorized into two. System software, such as the operating systems, OS, and application software, such as Microsoft Word. Both hardware and software form a tool that can be used to perform a task or operation. How does the hardware components work? This figure shows the relationship of CPU, main memory, secondary storage, and input-output devices. CPU is the chip that executes program commands. Main memory or RAM is the primary storage area for programs and data that are in active use. CPU and RAM interact in both directions to execute instructions. Secondary memory devices such as hard disks, floppy disks, USB drives, writable CDs, and writable DVDs provide long-term storage. As the main memory is for temporary storage, the information is moved between the main memory and secondary memory as needed. Input-output devices such as monitor screen, keyboard, joystick, barcode scanner, and touchscreen facilitate the user interaction on the computer system. To summarize, in this topic, we have looked briefly into what is a computer, what is an input and output device about data and information, and what does a computer system consist of. Thanks for watching.